here we go with the fishing here. I am right, Monaco Sea and Listen, amazing. As always, laughter, conversational, and great music. All here on the exclusive. And welcome to the show. Don't go anywhere. It's got to be another exciting show here tonight with me. Stay with us. All right, so let's start the show tonight with Fill Me In. And the lady trending, she says she's the biggest dancehall act here in Ghana, Fantana. Listen, she's making use of all the fame she is getting, all the bars she's getting. She's making sure that she makes use of that. So this lady was featured in Young, Rich and Famous. She caused some drama with Zara. I'm um, Zari. You get it. I call her Zara. I don't know why. But she, I, with Zari. You get it. And since then, she's been the talk of town from Ghana to Nigeria to South Africa to almost every part of the, of the continent. She's talking about Fontana, our own Fontana. Listen, as far as she tells herself as the biggest female dancehall artist in Ghana, she released a song right after the bars started coming in. That is said being so smart. She has a song out there, and the song is quite good. It's really good. Listen, it's really good. I have listened to it, and it's amazing. From the writing to the vocals and the beat to the action thing there. Listen, it feels good. And this is a young lady who's making sure that she catches out from every single thing she does. And I like it. Fantana, go. I got your back 24-7. So my next conversation here tonight is Kanye. Now, Kanye has been in the news for almost bad and good reasons. But I, I, I say this. Let him rest for now. Okay, it looks like he's, he's finally moved away from the whole Kim conversation. And finally, he's out there having fun with, with, with his new wife, you know. Daily Loud wants to tag the woman as Kanye's new wife. He says Kanye West and his new wife, Bianca, um, spotted out on another date. And so this isn't the first time Kanye is out with Bianca again. It's known for about three, four times altogether. And Kanye is still, I'm still waiting to see Kanye smile as he goes out with this, with this lady. I'm just waiting to see Kanye smile. But whatever it is, I am wishing him well. Okay? But it's not time for the exclusive conversation. And my guest tonight will blow your mind. Stay with me. Welcome to Exclusive once again. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, my guest on the show tonight, here on Exclusive, is amazing. Ever interested? Hassan Ayariga. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. Come on. <laughs> Right. How and there you go. How are you? After so many years. Yeah, I've been around. The last time we met, I, 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 I was in your house. Yeah. Yeah, we had some, some very quick conversation um, on the economy. Yes. Today, today's going to be a bit relaxed, you know. Nothing too you know, serious. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to relax. And I'm so excited to have you here. The economy is tough, so there's nothing to relax about. <laughs> Relaxation. The, the economy is what? It's tough. So there's nothing to actually talk there about. actually nothing to relax. So if, oh, nothing to relax about. Yeah, nothing to relax no, about. We're going to try as much as possible to smile here on the show tonight. I will try my best. Let, let's try and smile, because I know he likes to sing. Yeah. He likes to dance. He likes to party. So let's try and bring the vibe here tonight in the house. Yeah, I hope so. How about that? But I hope you're loving our studios. I hope you're loving our studios. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. I'm happy you like it. I love it. I mean, just that uh, you're reducing the number of workforce <laughs> by using a lot of more computers and... Uh, Oh, the technology, huh? Yes, yeah, standing yeah. cameras. And, we're, and we're, I think it makes it easier. You know, when you have about uh, five or four hands at the back room, they're able to manipulate the cameras. Yeah, it makes it easier. I like it. But then, what are we doing to increase the... Uh, but does it scare you that you think technology is taking over the human capital? It doesn't. But the problem is that the human capitalists are not making good use of themselves. Right. The human, they're not making good use of themselves. Yeah, themselves. because technology wow. is taking over. And reducing the redundancies of uh, the human capital. Right. So human capitals are now going to be jobless. Mm. Unless those who are in the technological world doing a lot of big things. And very few people are in that world. So what it means is that countries like Africa mm -hmm. and Ghana, we're going to have more jobless youth in the system when we don't give them the necessary and the requisite environment mm. to upgrade their IQ. Okay, to that standard where we need them. Because we are equally just teaching the students just to write exams and pass. Right. And that is why we have huge graduate unemployment. Because 
what are we training our youth for? We're training them just to write exams, pass exams, and give a certificate. And they are not creative. They are not innovative. And all these gadgets that we see around us have been purchased from outside using foreign currencies. So gradually, the African, Africans are coming out of the market. And the Europeans are going and the, um, what do you call it? Uh, let me say the technological world is improving. Right. And how many of African people are part of that world? How many of our youth are we trained to be part to of that, up. to match up that? That's true. And that's a problem. And listen, our promise is going to be very educating and interesting at the same time. Yeah. And so, Mr. Muhammad um, um, Hassan. Hassan Ayariga yeah, is a lead and founder of the APC, the party with the broom. Right. We're going to talk about politics, economy, and some very fun aspects and all that. So trust me, if you're looking for all in one, this is the proper definition for all in one here tonight. <clears throat> On the show. You see, I'm getting choked because it's going to be a very good conversation. I'm, I'm already getting choked, but it's okay, it's fine. Mr. Hassan Ariga, how have you been? How is the economy treating you? I'm, I'm hearing this. The, the, it's making you, the economy is, is treating you well. Is it true? When you say it's treating me well, mm. what do you mean? How, how are you faring? Tell me. I want to, tell me how you, you, are, you are doing. I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Just that the majority of the population are not doing well. Right. And when few people are doing well, and the majority are not doing well, there's some kind of pressure on those that are doing well. So are, are you under pressure? Of course. How, how many times? Because many, when, many I, when, I take, when I take my phone, sometimes my breakfast is around, I don't even know what is breakfast or lunch, around 3, 2. So how do you call that? I don't know. I call it food. You call it food? food. <laughs> Just food. Um, mm. Because you get up in the morning, and your WhatsApp line is choked. Beeping, yeah. And when you look, people are not even asking you for a thousand Ghana cities. They are actually asking you for 50 Ghana cities, 100 Ghana cities to survive. That's a big problem. That's, that's the problem. That is the problem. That even as low as 20 cities, somebody can send you a WhatsApp requesting that he wants to feed his family. What it means is that the economy is not doing well. I, I, I don't mind if somebody sent me a WhatsApp message asking for 2,000 Ghana cities. He has a problem to solve. But I get worried when somebody sends me a message asking for 20, 50, 100 Ghana. So what, 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 what do you, what do you so do about you, that? You usually? think that I'm happy? You think that I, I feel good? Mm. And it's every minute, every second, those who are asking, I, I can't even... What's up? I can't finish reading it. So, so when you, when so, you receive so sometimes messages? my wife will tell me that, hey, this is your phone there, you are married to read to. It's not that I'm married to my phone. It's that the problems are too many. And my wife sometimes understands it. So now she understands that the problems are too many. Mm. And every minute, if I put, no matter how much, sometimes every day I exhaust my limit. Every day I exhaust my limit. You still send people money whenever they Even I exhaust my mumu and I exhaust my bank account limit. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's the problem. So the economy is not doing well at all. It's not right. doing well. Maybe you are doing well. You look great. You look fine. You look handsome. You have a nice suit. Wear okay. nice glasses. And I, I, don't know, I don't know how to. I don't know how to. Maybe uh, your salary has increased. I don't know. Oh, you know, you know my salary has increased. Okay. No, but, but when your salary increases, exactly, it's an indication. Mm. That you're doing well. Oh, so my salary has increased. But now, even when you have increment of salary, you're not going to do well. Why that? Good, because the prices of goods and services in the market has tripled. So if you were earning, let's say, 10,000 Ghana mm -hmm. cities, and now you're earning 20,000 Ghana cities, right. you're still not doing well. Still because with some extra money. Yes, because you need extra 10,000 to cover up the expenditure you were doing probably with 10,000. So the economy... It's not good for you, even if they increase your salary, because prices of goods, petroleum product, foodstuff, and everything has gone up. Right. Tremendously. And it doesn't match with people's salaries. It doesn't match with people's earnings. People, people go to school, and normally you give them five CDs for a day. Today, even in the schools, there is no food for five CDs. 
a university graduate, those in school, are buying the same price of food that we outside buy. The cheapest food in the universities is about 35 Ghana cities. But isn't it because they are, how do I put this, the standard of the, the restaurants or the eateries located there, almost it's like the, the same standard, outside? It's not about standards of rec, uh, restaurants. It's about our food. What is our food basket? What do we produce? What do we production? Food staff have gone up. So 30 cities, you give your daughter who is in the university, you must give her a minimum of 100 Ghana cities to be able to enjoy. For a day? For a day. One, she needs to pay like 30 to 50 cities for food, transport, to and fro, probably all these shuttles in the university that they have to be running from one right. hall to another. Okay, and water and drink. So you are spending... 100 cities budget for your daughter in the university. I have two daughters in the university right now. So approximately, you have to give them a minimum of 3,000 Ghana cities to survive well in the university. And that is, that is you. What about those who cannot afford? Mm. Their kids are in the university. Their children are in the university. Then you talk about hostel fees. You talk about books. Mm. Let's talk, about, let's talk about how the APC... And then they it. come out of school and they're useless. Uh, uh, they're useless? Of course. We'd be nice by the finance minister to find our own jobs. You know, no, no, no. You see, or create the, our point, own jobs. the point is that have we changed the curriculum of education to match the future? The, 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 the future? No, we haven't. We're still practicing the Nkuma way of learning, teaching and writing and passing exams. Our university students are not creative, are not innovative. So instead of coming out of school and creating jobs, they come out of school and become a burden to society. Mm. They are looking for jobs. So the formal sector is suffering, and the informal sector is doing much better. And I can give an example of the informal sector. Go ahead. For instance, mechanic, an ordinary mechanic, a car mechanic, who goes for two years training, and you go to the university for four years. After two years, after his training, and he's been passed out, a week later, you will realize that he's opened a shop, gotten free land or rented land, cleared the land and put canopy or shade and get his tools. And the next minute, he is a mechanic solving your car's problems and also employing other people to train under him. Take the same hairdresser. Same. Is it see that you believe the informal sector is being more productive like the, the informal sector? Exactly, because they are, they are trained to be creative and innovative and productive. And ours are trained just to pass the exams. All the engineers we have in this country cannot even fix a lift. All mm. the lifts in this country we buy, we import, common lift. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I, 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 want to, I want us to tone it down a little bit. Listen, no, I'm not to tone down. I'm not, I'm not here to tone down. <laughs> yes, but, but I want us to have fun. No, I'm not having fun. I want us to relax and have fun. This is not where I want to have fun. If I want to have fun, I know where to go have fun. We are still going to have fun here no matter what. We are still going to have fun here. We are still going to have fun here. Have fun here. Tell me, how, how, how is the APC faring? Our APC is doing well. Mm. We currently, we are working on a lot of posters, a lot of banners, a lot of T-shirts. For elections next year? For the election next year. And uh, some few vehicles we're working on. Mm. And some few buses. And that's what we are doing. And then we are also doing the research for so many things. Right. That's what we're doing now. Mm. Next month, which is June, mm. we'll be outlining the activities of the party, which include presidential candidate election, parliamentary candidate elections, and then constituency and regional elections. That's like a, a, an all-round election. Yes, but we're going to start, we're going, for this time around, we're going to start with the presidential. Right. Instead of starting with the constituency, regional, and the national. So this time we're going to start with the presidential. Because we want the presidential candidate to have at least one year, six months run campaign. Because if we want to start with the parliamentary and the constituencies and the 
regional election is going to take time. But they have a mandate of four years. So it doesn't matter when we go for their elections. Mm. We can even go for their election next year because mm. they still have the mandate. But then the presidential candidate needs a particular space, period of time, to sell himself to the Ghanaian people. And that is why we are doing the presidential Yes, we are doing the presidential election next month. We're opening nomination and next month we'll carry on with the presidential election and elect a presidential candidate for the APC. So you don't mind being beaten by somebody else? I mean, what do you go to election for? Either to win or to lose. You don't understand. I don't, if you want to contest, and you're a member of the APC with good standing for four years, which you're not, we'll still consider you to come and <laughs> be a constituency. <laughs> He's making me know I'm really not a member of the APC. <laughs> constituency executive member. Right. Yeah, so it's, it's a party that now we believe that the Ghanaian people are going to make the right choice. The Ghanaian people are fed up of the NDC and the MPP. Mm, they are tired, huh? They are tired. But this time, they have to demonstrate it. They have to show it. Mm. They don't have to say it. They have to demonstrate it. Because it's very easy for NDC and MPP to win election. When the Ghanaian people say they are tired and not going out to vote. What is, what is, there? What is, um, what is it like? Um, away from politics for your side for now, no. what, what is me, it like? Let me finish that. Answer. Great, do that right quickly. Now. Reasons are that the NDC and MPP will manage this country to the extent that intellectuals and stakeholders of this country, members of this country, get bored and say, I'm not going to vote anymore. That is the tactics. That is, that is what I, they want I, to achieve. Been a time where that is votes. what they want to achieve. I so they say, you vote before. Come again? Do you always vote all the time? I always vote. But there's a time, this, this time around, they've been able to convince intellectuals not to vote by bad leadership. And the intellectuals have also agreed to follow their trend of not allowing them to vote by saying, I am tired of NDC and I'm not going to vote anymore. Mm. So they know where to get their votes. They now go to the hinterlands where they never go to their foot soldiers, the ordinary people who do not understand the reason why they are voting, pay them money, and then they get their votes. After all, what it matters is the numbers. The numbers, right. Once you get the numbers, you are game. So they know how to get their votes. But this time around, we are telling the intellectuals and the Ghanaian people, it's not going to happen again. Don't sit at home and say, I'm tired, I don't want to vote again. Then somebody else will decide your future. Do not allow anybody to decide the future. Go right. to the polls and make the right decision. The right decision is to vote them out and vote in the APC and Hassan Ayaga. That right. is the right decision. All right. I mean, I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm at a campaign event, but it's okay. It's okay. It's exclusive. Anything happens here. Everything, anything can happen here. It's okay. I want to find out. On a regular day for Hassan Ayaga, when you wake up in the morning, how is it like? How is your day like? When I get up in the morning. A jogging person or you, uh, you just want to wake up in the morning? before I get up in the morning. My phone starts ringing. <laughs> and we have to go back there again. Yeah, again. So it, rings, it wakes me up. It wakes you I up. sleep very late. Because I get to work at night mm. when the phone is cool. What do you do at night? A lot of work. Everything. Every, everything like what? Everything. Research. A whole lot. All right. A whole lot. My businesses and everything. I try to follow up everything at night. I get to follow up everything. So what time do you sleep? 4 a.m., 3 a.m. You sleep at 4 a.m.? Yeah, 4 a.m. What time do you wake up? Sometimes eight o'clock, depending on the, the phone. That's about like four hours or? Depending on, so sometimes seven o'clock, sometimes six o'clock, depending on the phone calls. The phone calls from people looking for money? Yeah, wake, wakes me up. The phone calls a lot of times. But I sleep three, four, three to four days. And, and that's what you do? I, I, I spend time with my family. I, my wife is a very loving person, so we chat, we watch yeah. movies sometimes. We, 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 we crack jokes, we dance, we, I mean, we do a lot of things. So my wife is um, a very serious aspect of my life. Mm. And uh, we spend a lot of time at, in the middle like that together, sitting and chatting. And discussing. What, what, is, what is Hassan Arge's love language? What is your love language? <laughs> <laughs> I like the smile on your face. What is your love language? Um, I, I want to learn. Tell me something. You know... When you have an interesting person, mm. you have so many love You are beaming with smiles. <laughs> yes, you have a lot I like of, that. You have a lot of love languages. You don't only have one. 
you know. Um, I'm a very humble person. I'm a very, I'm a good, I'm a good husband and a good father mm. and a good sweetheart. And a good and a good sweetheart. Yes, for my okay. wife. For my wife. Okay. So I I I try as much as possible to use certain kind of language for my wife in my home. So, certain kind know, of language. We know. We language know. Language like what? Sweetheart. Huh? We know. We know. We know. We know. The please. The thank you. Right. I'm grateful. Excuse me. Appreciation. We, yeah. We know those languages at home. All our kids are taught with those values. The values of humility. To be humble. Mm. To be respectful. So you come to my house, and my <clears> daughter can go and bring you water. She doesn't need. The house girl to do that. do that. My 11 years daughter can bring you a drink. And so you're welcome and get you a seat to sit down with for me. She doesn't need a house girl or the housemaid or any other person to do that. So we train our kids in a very beautiful way, where we have, the way we want to live our life. Mm. That's the way we train them. So for me, I am a... I don't know what to say. I don't want to say it so much on TV before I get so much it, added. It's okay. No. It's exclusive. Anything <laughs> happens here. It's exclusive. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, it's exclusive. It's Your exclusive. pardon. Yeah, so uh, you, need, you need to be like me to be a good president. How, how did you meet your wife? I don't want to talk about how I met my wife. But I, I want to tell you that. I want to find out. You, what happened? I mean, what, was the first, what, what made her uh, attracted to you in the first place? What did you do? Oh... I mean, this is a political issue. This is not a family issue. No, this is a life. This is a life show. It's more relaxed. It's not no, I, mean, I met my wife by grace. Show. By grace. Right. By grace. I met my wife by grace, and I'm happy how I met her. And she's the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. And my wife is a person that you don't have to hype women, but I can hype her. Okay, she's, that's the little of she's, she's one in a million. She's a friend. She's very humble. She's down to earth. She's respectful, truthful, and a great person. So when you have such a person, your life is complete. You don't need anything anymore. So your joy is in the house, it's with her. And you, you, when you get so much joy, that is when you begin to transfer joy out there people. to the people. When you get so much happiness at home, that's when you begin to transfer a lot of happiness out there. Mm. But when you don't get it at home, even your own company structure will demolish. Right. I, I, heard, I heard Hans Narega love cars. What, what, what is your, your, your type of car? Because I've seen a couple of them. And you're going, to, you're going to see them on your ash queen's here. Like, oh, you're going to see the, 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 the cars, I mean, he, he loves. He loves cars, actually. Yeah. Beautiful cars. Okay, there we go. This is Kain Kedesi Coffee TV. Yeah. yeah, this is Kain Kedesi Coffee TV. And he, he loves cars. He loves cars. Tell me, what are your type of cars? You're going to see, but just, just tell me. Just tell me. It's like inside the biggest presidential house owned by Dr. Hassan Ayarga. The biggest presidential house. There we go. There we go. How many, how many cars are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's yeah, some under there. Oh, there's. Oh, what yes. car is this? This is um, a vintage. A vintage. Yeah, Beautiful. Cadillac like 1948. 1948. Yeah. What? Look at that. He loves cars. <laughs> I can tell. Oh, yeah. Do you drive all these cars around? Yeah, I do. All of them? Mm hmm. What? And the motorbikes. And the bikes. My wife rides this motorbike most of the time. And I do, and I do the. All my kids have motorbikes. Oh, your kids have motorbikes. All of them, even the, How many kids do you have? I have five kids. Five and the kids. last one, who is 12 years, also has a motorbike. The 12 year old? 11. He's actually 11. 11 has a motorbike. Yeah, also has, now he's 12, but has a motorbike. What? I mean, we, I'm, 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 tap, I'm tapping the glory. You get, I'm tapping the glory. Look, look at that. Look at this. is a Porsche. Yeah. This is a Porsche. <laughs> wow. It's God's I blessings. Passed, I, I passed by your house about three days ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, I passed in front of this house about three days ago, and I smiled. Why? Because <laughs> it's a beautiful house. Oh, okay. It's absolutely beautiful. And, and how, uh, but you are saying that you are, the economy isn't, isn't, isn't doing well for you. It is beautiful. Yeah, movie room, gyms and all that. 
No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's not doing well because a lot of people are suffering. Mm, not and necessarily when, you. No, yes, and when, they, when a lot of people uh, suffer, that when the wicked rules, people suffer. So I believe that um, I'm a father, like mm. I said. I'm a father for all. So I don't get up and think about myself only. Mm. Then I will have a problem. I will not even be running for president if I always be thinking about myself and my family. I don't need to run for president. Right. You right. understand? But when I, when I see what we are going through as a nation, and I think I can do better, I present myself to do better. I love cars, of course, but... You do. Be absolutely beautiful cars. I, love, I actually love good things. That's the fact. Yeah, I come on. I can so if I, if I become I president, you can see the number of car manufacturing companies we have in this country. We already have some of the assembly. Oh, they are just assembling. Uh, we need to be... Manufacturers. Yes. We will not even cars alone, many other things. I mean, all these gadgets that you are seeing, I love gadgets. We don't have to import them. I mean, what, what's the difference in the 21st century mm. when other countries can do and you cannot? The difference is leadership. That's the, that's the difference. What's the difference when others are living good and you are living like a puppet? The difference is leadership. So when you go back to the economic situation mm -hmm. where we find ourselves, mm -hmm. we still fall back to leadership, no matter where. Mm. No now, matter what. Now, now, the interior of this building is beautiful. Is, is it, everything, is it hand painted? <laughs> is, is it, is it, is it, but you told me a lot of good things. So yes, this is like, this, this, is a this was picked by my, my wife and I. Oh, wow. But what, what if you did this? Yes, but, but, but no I'm interior thinking. decorator came into this house. Not even one. Wait, you had the time to do all this? Yes. And my wife did most of it. We, we travel a lot to get all these things. We went to so many countries. So none of them came here from Ghana? Were no, no. Ghana? to be very honest, none. None? None. Was manufactured in Ghana? No. Every single thing here yeah. was imported. Mm. Tell me, how many countries? And that's, how many countries are and that is why I don't like it. That's why I'm not happy. Because just imagine how much, I don't want to mention, but how much money I have to spend. How, how much money? I don't how much need money are no, no, not at all. Uh, how much money? About, about um, four million dollars. Oh. I saw I saw I saw the quotation somewhere. I listened about four million dollars. Is that how much you spent for this this building? I won't tell you if I tell you, you even believe. Tell me, come on. No, I don't want. I don't want. Because I, I saw the quotation somewhere. Let's debunk I mean, it. Yes. Is it four million or, or less? Or oh, that? no, no, no. We don't. Know. There's no need. If you look at it, it sells itself. Hmm. The product sells itself. How, how many rooms do we have? It's like a duplex. It has uh, twelve bedrooms. Twelve bedrooms. Yeah, two penthouses. Two penthouses. Yeah, it has a gym. It has a barbering saloon. It has a, a barbering saloon in your yeah, house. Yes, it has a. Come it's on, a, it come has on. A saloon for my wife too. As, Apart wait, from mine. Wait, 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 relax, <laughs> relax, 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 relax. You have a saloon in this house for the, my wife. For your wife. And I have a, a barbering shop. For myself. A barbering salon, what for, it yes. for yourself. And my kids. And your kids. Boys. Yes. You are enjoying life. I mean, life is meant to enjoy. You work hard for it. I like that. And when we do the right thing, we all must enjoy life. Nobody is in this world to suffer. Right. Only circumstances make us suffer. We are not born to suffer. Mm -hmm. Nobody is born to suffer. Mm -hmm. But when you fall under the bad leadership, then you are born to suffer. I mean, go to other countries. They are living. Go to Dubai and see how young people are living. Mm. Because their leadership is demonstrating leadership. Mm -hmm. So people in, the, in Dubai are not living like puppets. Right. We are living like puppets because some people are misusing and mismanaging and corrupting our economy. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to do that. The way I want to live, I want people to live better than myself. Okay. So I always say that when you don't train your kids to be better than you, then you failed in life. So I'm trying to become the better father for the nation Ghana. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank I'm you. still here with the man, Dr. Hassan Ayariga, the founder of APC. But listen, don't go anywhere. Already, I'm hungry and thirsty. I don't know how to describe <laughs> how I feel after seeing this. I saw a quote somewhere that says over four million US dollars. He says it could be more, or it could be less, but he's not going to tell me. I'm okay by that. I am okay by that. But listen, that was a plus house, I must say. Okay. Thank you. We are going to come back from this break. When we come back, my questions will be in. It's called Five and Five. And also, what faces will be in? And our music will come in. More segments, more stuff coming in here. 
on the exclusive. Don't go anywhere. I'm still here with Dr. Hassan Ayariga, the man who wants to be president come 2024. Stay with us. This is exclusive. And welcome back. Still live here, or still here, on exclusive with me, Bright, and I could see I mean, I'm still here with Hassan Ayariga, the founder of APC. He, he, he wants to be president. Yes, and so we are just going to follow him and see what happens after next year's election. But we are still having fun here. A very, I mean, interesting conversation and all that. And I'm told that it's not, it's not a duplex. It's a villa, a proper villa. I mean, not a joke. You hear me? Welcome back, dog. Yes, we are you. back. Right, how are you doing? I, I'm, I'm doing good. Okay. I, after, the, after the first session, I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> but let's say it's not time for our five in five. Yeah. Where we get to answer five questions in five minutes. And Ooh. when our timer starts on the screen, um, we are going to get to do the battle. For now, let me just bring up my gold. Of course, it's my golden bow. So we have a five minutes on our screen, dog. It's five minutes already on the screen. So, yes. It's not time. You pick, you pick one question and um, you answer in five minutes. Okay, so let, let's do this quickly. Let's do this quickly. Any of the white papers here, just pick it quickly. Uh -huh, and we do it. You open, you read, and you answer. I can help you. I can help you. I can help you. Okay, so this one here says, gym or beer? Gym. No, no beer? No, I don't drink. You don't drink? You don't drink? No, no, I don't drink. No, I only drink water. I do water. You only drink water? Water. You drink what? Water. Water. Yes. I, I had water. <laughs> <laughs> what was the next one? I don't know what it is. What was the next one going to be? You want to drink water. Water. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this, one, this one says what? Let's see. Let me help you. Let me help you. Okay, it says, how is it like keeping, you don't have a, you don't have a board hair, but how is it like keeping a short, a short it's beautiful. hair? Uh, okay, so, short hair is you know, beautiful. Okay, you know, so. When you have a beautiful head shape, you can keep when you have a what? Beautiful head shape. A beautiful head shape. Like mine, you know. Yeah. You can keep a, a down card. Yeah. It, has, it looks beautiful. But when you have a Papa Jasko kind of hair. <laughs> <laughs> when you have a Papa Jasko kind of hair. You can't it's, keep, it's imagine difficult. your head. Yeah, like, like, like a slope, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. I didn't say that. I didn't I, say that. We still I'm have some minutes you. to go. So let's go. We still have some minutes to go. Yeah. Okay, this one here says, let me see, let me see, let me see. It says, um... What's your most memorable moment in life? Most memorable moment yes, in life. life. A time that you are most the, proud of or not, not, the, the, the day I met my wife. Of. Oh wow, it's all about your wife. Yeah, the day I met my wife. It's a memorable part. So I celebrate it all the time. All the time. Yeah, when is your anniversary? Uh don't worry. When it's time I'll tell you so that all right. you do something. All right, no problem. <laughs> no problem. I'm gonna keep that safe. Yes. <laughs> this one here says, um, it says, would you ever stop being involved in politics? Would you ever say that I'm tired of politics? And I'm not going to do it again. It's enough is enough. Would you ever do that? I, I won't make you in. Won't you stop your involvement in politics? Will I ever do that? That's an interesting question. I Have think, you thought of it? Uh, sometimes, but, but then I think that it's going to be very difficult to think about that in African countries. But what, what, what will make you want to stop your involvement in politics? And say I'm not, because I'm not going to be a politician. Because when we have right institutions working, when we have the right institution working, then I can fold my arms and say, I'm not going to involve myself, but I'm going to watch. Watch and enjoy. Not enjoy, make sure proper things are done. Are done. Even when I'm in my grave and you make a wrong mistake, I wake up. You come back. I'll come back. I'm lucky, I. <laughs> Let's go. Not for, not for me. Because you see, I've traveled around the world. Right. I've seen a lot of things in my life. I've traveled in many, many countries. In this How many world. countries have you been to? I don't know. Many. Lots. But I see leadership. Mm. What I don't see is the African leadership. We have less than two minutes. This one here says, uh, okay. Five, five. What will make you know you have accomplished your dreams? What, what will make you know? make you know you have a couple of your dreams? Is it, is it, well, let me not answer for you. Come on, let me not answer for you. Um, for now, I am proud of my dreams. 
you, you, you feel like you, you accomplished? No. It's when you die that you know that you probably have accomplished your dreams. But want to even in the, even even no, I mean, if you become president, it's an, it's very easy to become president. But the most it's very easy. Yeah, but the most difficult part is so to, into, stay, so to, stay, yet? to stay as president. So why aren't you president yet? Because when the right time comes, you will be president. I'll be president. All right, we the have the last question to go. You, you, you answered five in less than five minutes. It's a seed question. You know, yeah. He's done well. Come on, he knows his game. He so says, how do you deal with your masculinity? Uh, you know, some women say that. Mm, Men like to express their masculinity on them because they feel like they are right, I, I, For me, there's respect mm. for everyone. Right. I respect everybody everywhere. And uh, I don't see myself as being the man. I see myself as being the servant. A servant? Yeah. Mm. I save. As, he, so I mean, yeah, I think that's supposed to save. So, yeah, I so like I'm, that. So I'm, I'm fine with it. You're fine with it. I'm good with and it. And there we go. <laughs> there we go. He has answered <laughs> six questions in five minutes. Yes. You've done it all. You've Thank done it all. You. you know, I nearly fell down because yes. I'm not eating. So I nearly, you only put me. I nearly fell down. Like, okay, it's okay. You know, they, like he said, you, the economy is a bit, you know, it makes hunger, you know. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay. So 30 minutes. Listen, I'm not supposed to count down already because it's like 10 seconds to go and he's already answered six questions. Yeah. Oh God, he's a genius. Thank he's you. He's a genius. We, we usually do five and five, but he's done six and five. Mm -hmm. And so two, three, one, there we go. Mm -hmm. In five minutes. It's now time for our warped faces. Warped faces. Okay. okay? And here, what we give you some faces that have been warped. The, the faces have been turned around like, you know, it's been mashed. Okay. And try to look for who they are. Are you ready? Not sure. All right. So who is going to be our first face here in the segment? Warped faces. Let's okay. go for that. Let's go for Let's go for that. Who is our first guest? Okay. Here we are. Here we go. Here we go in the what? Who, who is this? Mm. Who is this? Ayaga, who is this? This is uh, the gentleman who came in. What is his name? Uh, 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 let me see if you get it right. Yeah, the guy who came. Oh. oh, what's this guy's name? Who visited the presidency and sang that song? Who, McMill? McMill, thank you. No, that's not McMill. That's him. That's not McMill. No, this is not McMill. That's McMill. Unless. You want to turn the face. <laughs> He's the one. This is, this is, this is, should I say it? Yeah. This is Michael B. Jordan, Black Panther. Not oh, the really? black, not the, the, the other one, the one who acted Creed. Oh, okay. That's him. Michael yeah, B. Yeah, the, the, the one, the one who acted, uh, what do you call it? Avenger. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he's, he's part, part of it. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. He looks yes. like McMill. Oh, he, he, like. he so does? I feel it. Okay, okay. I never, a, normally I don't, but you know, I understand. Yeah, you, you've tried. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's a, a bit of resemblance with yeah. McMill. That's okay. That's okay. Who's going to be our next what face on the screen? Let's see who's going to be next. Let's see who's going to be next. Who, who is this? This should, be, this should be easier. Oh, this is John DeMillo. Come on. I, I, come on. Come on. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Who's going to be next? Who's going to be next? Let's go. Who's going to be next? Who's going to be next? Mm. Uh, who is this? <coughs> mm. This should be easy. This should be easy. This guy? Yeah. Do I really know him? You do. Come on. He's an actor. He's famous. He's gentle. He's fair. But he has Ghanaian Kelly actor. hair. Ghanaian actor. He has Kelly hair. Mm. Now they don't act a lot, so you don't even get to know their movies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, he's, I don't want to call him a, he's a seasoned actor. Really? Yeah, he's seasoned. He's not he's legit. That's not Majid. That's, That's not Majid. Yeah. That's not Majid. But you are, you are close. Yeah. You are really close. No, I don't know his name. This is um, Van Vicker. Oh, Van Vika. Yeah. Oh, okay. You are so close. That's him. Van Vika. Yeah. Okay. Our own... Uh, Van oh, our yeah, own but where has he been? Born. This guy. He's around. He's still acting. I mean, he completed the ACC some time ago and yeah. he's now back in school. I, oh, I, spoke to, I, I spoke to him about a month ago and he's back in school. Oh, that's yeah. great. He's, that's he's great. Yeah, but they should be doing greater things. Uh, trust me, uh, I mean, yeah. When I become president, I'll help them more. Amen to that. So that, that industry should develop better than what we have now. Right, yeah, right. Because that the industry is collapsing. It, has it collapsed or is collapsing? It's collapsing. It's Even collapsing. The, it's on the way. It's on the way. Gallywood, to collapse. The Gallywood we did on the, the what do you call it? Sugar Cup Road. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's collapsed. Gallywood. I mean, it's 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 down to zero. So what is where's where's the woods? Where are the woods? Where are the bolo woods? Bolo woods in Ghana? We don't have. We don't have the woods. We don't have it. So Our in woods. the twenty-first century, 
we are tapping into industries like Nigeria, America to boost that boost industry. Us, yeah. We have failed. Let's be sincere. Mm. We have failed. We started acting before Nigeria, but they've taken over. Nobody watched Ghanaian movie. Now they, they've reduced it to Kumchacha or whatever. <laughs> Give me my next one face, please. Give me my next one face, please. Who is this? This should be easier for you. Eh? Who? Ivan Okoro. Oh my god, man. There you go. There you go. I like that. Yeah. That was that was really easy. Yeah. Wow. That was really easy. Oh my god. Africa Kansi, you lost. Afro Kansi couldn't could, could identify who, who this is. Mm. He, he lost Pato. Afro Kansi, he lost yeah. Pato. Oh, good, good, good! You did, you did this, man. Who's gonna be our last, our last, my face? Oh, okay. I'm told that's all. You've tried. Yeah. Who done so well? Thank you. Congratulations to you. Thank you. We should, we should give him a trophy for, for doing this. Mm. And uh, man, I've had industry, fun. we need to do, we need to do something seriously. Yeah. It's more now. It's, it's all kumcha They are doing. I mean, I like that. Mm. I like that. I'm still here with um, Hassan Ayariga. It's been a fun night here with me here and him. On exclusive, but you, I mean. Your campaign has been a bit, um, it's, it's a bit aggressive because we see you on cars and you know, standing in the castle. There's another video we have of you where you were campaigning around Makola and all that, speaking to uh, some of the market women to ensure that they buy into your idea. Yeah. I mean, before you even go out there to do all these things, how do you plan? How do you plan? Okay, there, there we go. It's yeah. a video of you um, during the yeah. campaign tour here, the APC, hitting the yeah. streets and speaking to people. How, how, how do you psych yourself to, or even know that this message will get to them? How do you do that? You see, when you, when you go around the country, for instance, I was talking about the movie industry, mm -hmm. and I was telling you that they have nothing to offer. When you get to them, you know their problems. You identify the problems, and you tell them, these are your problems, and these are the solutions. Right. So when I go to the market, you look, just look around, and you see that most of them are current headpants. Mm -hmm. You see? These are our daughters that have been reduced to Kayoyo in the 21st century, mm. putting all these heavy duty things on their head. You don't need this for this young. This is, this is, this is the future. Mm -hmm. When you're looking for the future, this mm -hmm. is the reality of the future. So how are you going to get them out of this? Mm. I mean, you and I will not want our kids to do this. So why do you allow others to do this? The, the children of Ghana belongs to me as president. Right. They are my property. And I must make sure that everybody gets what is due. Due them. Due them. So as a president or as a candidate, mm. I must tell them, this is what we are supposed to do. And why we are not doing it is because of waste, mismanagement, and corruption. Right. Not because of anything. But we have the resources. Look, we have oil in this country. Mm -hmm. And it's being managed by foreigners. We have bauxite managed by foreigners. Gold and diamond managed by foreigners. Cocoa and timber, managed by foreigners. The mining sector, taken over by foreigners. The banking sector, taken over by the foreigners. Now tell me one sector that the indigent is being managed, apart from the so-called presidency, that is also being dictated by foreigners. The president just sits there, holding the fund for them. Mm, but because but, they, but you, have they, evidence, they, you have evidence to this? Of course. You, have you been to the Flagstaff House, mm. whether Muhammad or Akufado? Have you been there before? Mm -hmm. And you see that he entertains more foreigners than he entertains more Ghanaians. And he asks you, you sold your bed, right? And you call it PPP. You've given out all that belongs to you, and you call it partnership. Private public partnership. What's that? Who gives his property away and share it? You borrow over $500 billion, and you call it achievement. When you could have raised that amount of money locally. Mm. Because, look, when we went to, when they went, let me put a day, I don't want to pass. Me. What are they? The MPP. If I ask we, I say Ghanaians. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. So let me push it to MPP. Mm. When the government went to borrow three billion from IMF, running and begging to get three billion, we can raise three billion locally. Because the businessmen in this country, the foreigners repatriate more than $10 billion every day, every year in this country. From mining, from gold, from bauxite, from timber, from cocoa, from manganese, name it. Over $10 billion. 
but it's and then you go begging mm. to get three billion. I mean, who does that? And then you bring COVID, you bring Ukraine. Everybody are there no factors? Factors, of course, there are factors that when you don't run your country well, they become a factor. And you use them as excuses. Right. Right. What, what is your favorite song or your favorite artist in Ghana currently? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I knew he was going to laugh at this because I saw a video of you singing. I mean, singing. Which one? And I, I don't remember. They were in a, 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 a blue black um, shirt, long sleeve. We were um, having fun, actually. I, 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 love, I love to see people enjoy their life because mm. life is too short. Right. To be struggling, living in despair. And I, have, I, I'm, I, I like to have fun. But we saw not, 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 not because, so not because I don't know what I'm about, or I'm not serious, I don't pity people, but because it's a nature, human nature, to laugh at certain times, to smile at certain times, right. to dance at certain times. To joke at certain times. So, still back to my question. So, which song or artist can you sing? I love a lot of artists. Okay. G I give me one name. I love a lot of artists. If I give you one name, I'll be biased. Okay. Le le okay. Let le me let me let me do this. <laughs> How about Sarko here? He's a good rapper. Any of his songs that you know? Oh, oh, baby, pump, baby. Mother, baby, problem. I like that. Uh, give, give, me one, give me one line. Oh, I can't give you a line, but I love but it. Yes, 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 the problem. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love, like that. That. I love if Africans can find that direction of money not being a problem, we'll be respected in the world. How about Shatawali? Shatawali is my boy. I love mm, him. Yes. He's your boy. I, I like I that. Him, Shatawali yes. is my boy. Yes, I, I like him. that. Uh, Shata movement. He lives very close to me. Yes. Um, Stone boy. Mm -hmm. They're all my boys. Uh, there are a lot of them. There so are a lot of which them. Of, which of? Because uh, I think I saw Stone Boy during the birthday party. Yes, yes. Was this Stone Boy? He was, Stone also Boy was there. Yeah, he was there. He was there for my daughter's birthday party. Birthday, yeah. Yeah. But I was invited, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah, he didn't he's a gentleman. He's a nice person. I yeah. love him. Right. He's a gentleman. You know, the difference between Stone and Chata Chatawali? It's just their mannerisms and the way they. I like him because he comes slow and then he goes up. Goes up. Shatter comes hot mm -hmm. and generates. Mm -hmm. And I love him when he used the local dialect into it and saying, you know, and I love Stone too, the same. Right. But which, which of Shatwali's song can you sing? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I'm I, bad I, at singing. Shatwali, I come like a kai kai. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. I don't come like kai kai. <laughs> <laughs> 2024. You know, Mama, what is that? Mama Paper? Yeah, Mama Paper. That's a nice Mama Paper. paper. That's paper. But they sang the song and lost the elections, you know? <laughs> 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 Would you want? <laughs> Would you want you to give me a song? Oh, yeah. I'll I, 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 be happy. Why not? Why mm. not? But I, I would like something very educative. Like what? Oh, you don't Message. think Mama Paper was educative? What is the paper for? Mama Paper. Paper. Paper, what is that? Money or paper? Which one is it? I, I mean, I know that one. It's a nice bit, but they lost. They, they sang to that tone and they lost. <laughs> so, are you saying the song made them lose the election? I know, I'm not saying that. I'm only saying they sang to the song and lost. That's all. Okay. Come on, I'm not going to laugh about this. Don't, don't laugh about that. that. What? Don't laugh about that. Yes, you I'm don't have to, but it. the point is that um, music itself is a message. Right. I don't like people shouting and not actually giving the essence of music. Mm. I know how to rap. You know how to rap? Very, very you well. You can rap? Very, very well. <laughs> what do I do? I'm giving you a bit boxing. <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> Let, me get back. Let me tell you something. Mm. When you are a good rapper, right. you sell your message to music. And that is what people don't understand. Mm. You want to talk about the economy, and you want people to understand, you put it in a music form, and you tell the world, this is my country, this is where we are going to, and this is where we are 
We have failed in leadership and we're trying to find a good leader. Hassan Yoruga is the next president of Ghana. We're trying to build him and go, you know, that kind of thing. So th this was a wrong Yeah, that's a, I didn't start. I was just about no, to start no, no. you, you block it. No, can, can we, no, 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 can we, can we, can we, no. We have, we have to bring this back. We have to bring, I it, will back. bring it back. <laughs> oh my God, you're so funny. <laughs> Hassan Ayariga here on Exclusive. Thank you so much for watching.